The following program is being brought to you on the Voice America Health and Wellness Channel. For more information about our network and to check our additional show hosts and topics of interest, please visit voiceamericahealth.com. The Voice America Talk Radio Network is the worldwide leader in live Internet talk radio. Visit voiceamerica.com. The views and ideas expressed on the following program are strictly those of the host or guests and do not necessarily reflect the views and ideas held by the Voice America Talk Radio Network, its staff, and management. Welcome to Falling Through the Cracks. Feel alive and thrive with Dr. Rebecca Risk. Do you ever feel that even though nothing seems seriously wrong and you pass all the medical tests, that you still feel that your health, pain, and fatigue are completely out of control? It doesn't have to be that way. Listen to the tips and suggestions given on our program today and take back control of your health. Now, here is Dr. Rebecca Risk. Hey, everybody. Welcome to the show. I'm Dr. Rebecca Risk, and I'm here to help you find your way back to health. Today, we're going to be talking about electromagnetic frequencies. We're constantly exposed to them more than we have ever been before. Most of us aren't aware, don't even think about the exposure, which has increased over time. And our daily lives include cell phones, Wi-Fi, and computers. We're still not aware how this affects us, and there is rising awareness that there are those who are sensitive, but also that there are those who are affected on some level. Today we're going to be speaking with Jean Gallick. Welcome to the show, Jean. Thank you. Uh, Jean is an inventor who has focused 30 years on environmental pollution and electromagnetic radiation protection. She um, has inventing EMF products, which she has created in order to improve her chronic health problems and the health of others. She has a background in developmental and experimental psychology from UC Berkeley, an advanced Uh, and advanced to candidacy for PhD in history of consciousness with a major in philosophy. Her company, Earthcom, manufactures U.S.-made handcrafted circuitry for their EMF protection products. Her products have helped provide her customers relief from various health concerns. So, Jean, I just want to talk about how you got into inventing EMF products. Uh, Well, um it actually began uh, when I was in my early 20s, and uh, I just had these uh, chronic headaches. And also, I was the kind of person that was just sick all the time. Any flu that came around, like every couple of weeks, it seems like I was sick with the flu and uh, just felt tired, had trouble sleeping. And at that time, uh, this was uh, in the uh, 70s, uh, late 60s, it was... It was considered uh, environmental illness was the word that we used to describe people with that problem. And uh, so I, um, during that time, like about every couple of months, I would try a different uh, healing modality to see if I could figure out what was bothering me. And um, eventually I, I did discover the problem of electromagnetic fields and started researching it. And in reality, there's, there was almost no information uh, on that. So I basically just had to make a decision to explore that because when I would try, like I would get rid of all the formaldehyde in my house or I would eliminate all the perfumes or I would get the cleaning products out of my, you know, out of my house. I just did all these things and nothing, nothing really made any difference. So... I, I started to uh, focus on electromagnetic fields there as, as the problem, and uh, this just kind of made it my decision to figure this out on my own. Well, yeah, back in the 60s and 70s, I can imagine there was no information, and, and we're exposed way more now than we were then with Wi-Fi and cell phones and everything. So it's, it, I think it's amazing that you even figured it out back then um, when people weren't talking about it. Well, I, I actually um, discovered a man named George Lukowski, and he was one of the first. It's a very interesting story because at that time, uh, anybody who worked with electricity was considered a quack healer. And, there was a, and yet in the beginning, in the early 20s, there were many people who were exploring electricity, what it was and what its impact on us was. And a guy named George Lukowski, he um, was from... Uh, Czechoslovakia, and he came over 
and uh, concept. I mean, one of the earliest conceptualizations of of uh, the electromagnetic environment of the Earth. And he had developed something called an oscillating circuit, like the Mikowski oscillating circuit. And he, in the twenties, he had opened up a <laughs> clinic in New York. Uh, for people who had cancer, and he actually uh, was doing quite well, healing people and getting a reputation, and the AMA shut him down as a quack. So mm. that was uh, that was what we did at that time if, with people who were playing around with those ideas. But I read a book uh, uh, called The Ways That Heal, and uh, I saw pictures of the oscillating circuit, and, and I, I built one, and... Uh, discovered that it really did uh, help me, uh, and I started making uh, modifications of it, and uh, I, I combined a couple of different things with the oscillating circuit and made it into a copper bracelet, and when I put it on, the first time I put it on, it was like it took away my headache. It was like this miracle that had happened, because I had been mm-hmm. walking around with a chronic headache pretty much all my life, and so that was the beginning of the whole exploration of electromagnetic fields. Well, that sounds interesting that you even sat down and, and you know, made one yourself and started playing around with it, which I think a lot of people yeah. wouldn't, wouldn't even do, which just shows the, um, how your brain works for sure. Well, um, thank you. Yeah. Um, I'm sure there are a lot of people who are wondering what we're talking about. Can you just explain a little bit about what EMFs are so that people can follow along? Well, um, the problem of EMFs is mostly man-made radiation because uh, we uh, live in an environment of natural electromagnetic radiation. That's uh, called the Schumann resonance, and maybe uh, a little bit later I can go into more detail about what that is because it's a fascinating subject. For sure. But, yeah. Um, yeah, in the 1900s, uh, we started electrifying our environment uh, everybody started to live in this grid or this rectangle of house wiring. And uh, it's a very interesting subject because a man named Samuel Milham, who is a, a, an epidemiologist, that means he studies death statistics, and he was working for the state of Washington at the time, and he decided to look at what people were dying of and how that related to the introduction of, of electricity into their home. And in the 1950s, about 50% of the uh, population of the United States had been electrified, or, you know, had electricity in their homes, mm-hmm. and uh, all the urban environments. And what he discovered is that the people were dying. There's four big categories of death, and they were cardiovascular, <clears throat> Um, uh, uh, diabetes and uh, cancer and uh, suicide or depression. So mm-hmm. these were the four, uh, you know, statistics. But in the ur- in the rural areas where there was no electricity, there was no there was no significant significant increase of those four categories. And what what is so interesting is that. Over the next 20, 30 years, up until the 70s, as the rural environment was gradually, electricity was brought to that area, those areas, people, those statistics started to rise until they matched the uh, urban areas as electricity was introduced. So it's really a pretty striking uh, uh, proof of the dangers of just the fundamental home electricity. And then, of course, as in the last uh, 10, 20 years, you're adding all the microwave, man-made microwave radiation from the cell phones and the, you know, and even even radio is radio waves, and the TV. So all these things have added, changed our environment dramatically. Yeah, it's, it's interesting because all those things that you listed are, you know, the diseases that are um, really high in, in North America and. Nobody's quite sure why, and we, we pinpoint certain things. Our diet has changed as well, but um, nobody really talks right. about, about the technology that's changed. Well, you're right. There's many factors, and diet is one, and, you know, you can even say industrialization of life has had many, many different parts of it, pollution. But, but certainly the electricity is like an unknown factor, and in some ways it's, it's really key to 
understanding the whole picture. Yeah, it's. Um, uh, I think there's a, a bigger picture than just one thing, or or we um, would have solved it already. So uh, from yeah, what I understand from EMFs is that they're just sort of this silent thing. I mean, we most of us don't realize that we're being affected by them. I mean, um, we we talked about how it started for you. But I think a lot of people don't make that connection or they look at the cost of protecting themselves and they think that, um, you know, it just can't be bothering them that much. And what do you tell those people? Well, um, you know, I would say uh, that there's, uh, I'd say I would just make one statement, which is that the cell phone is probably one of the greatest dangers to human health that we have in our world today because it's become so ubiquitous and so almost essential. And mm-hmm. people hold the cell phone right up to their brain. And uh, it's, it's really, uh, and, and you know, the cell phone companies, have, as we know, have a big stake in, in uh, not being completely honest about the research that's been done. And, and so we're really facing uh, a severe threat. But I, but the, the other is, of course, the home and all the other devices that are in the home, the wireless router, the smart meter, all the tablets. So it's, it's a problem. Uh, it, you know, the, uh, we, we do have, a, as, a, as a recommendation for people as to where to start with this, I, I think the, uh, to, to really work with the exposure in your home because it's when you sleep that your body uh, heals, basically. And without this deep sleep and this, if, if you were to just describe in one word the effect of electro of the man-made electromagnetic fields, it's just a constant stress level in in life that's there that people have to have to deal with. And um, having the home unit really reduces that basic stress level and allows the body's own natural healing ability to heal, which is is of course the you know how what we want to have the body heal itself and the body has a whole innate healing system the uh, acupuncture puncture meridian system is really uh, one expression of that but uh, which is in its own way electromagnetic which is partly why this uh, normal natural healing system of the body has been <clears throat> suppressed by the constant stress of of the home electricity. Well, you know, there's one thing I always tell people when they, they come to see me that they're always going to have some stress in their lives and, and my goal is to reduce how high the stress is so that they, um, when when they get an extra stress, you know, a life stress of some kind, instead of tipping over into illness or disease every time and, uh-huh. you know, fatigue, that, that we bring that stress down so that they're able to handle what life is throwing their way and this um, seems like it is one of those things that will bring the stress down so that they can handle everything else that's going on. Exactly. That's a very well, that's a good way to put it. It enables yeah. you to function more effectively. That's really the, the key to it. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, if you have that extra stress that you're exposed to, like you said, how can your, your body heal from, from what you're dealing with, especially, you know, I treat people that are chronically ill and with Lyme disease and MS, and, and um, their stress levels, of course, in their body are very high, and it mm-hmm. takes layers to get through. Um, yeah. We're, we're going to talk more about that after the break. Um, we're talking with Jean Gallick today, who's the inventor of the EarthCom EMF products. We're talking about EMF, electromagnetic frequency, frequency toxicity. If you have any questions about this show or any comments um, about this show or any other show, feel free to send an email at anantacalgary at gmail.com or do send us a message on Twitter or Facebook, and we'd love to hear your comments, um, anything that you have to say about um, how EMFs have, have affected you. Um, also, feel free to call in today, and we'll return after this break with Jean Gallick. Your life, your health, your network. 
You're listening to Voice America Health & Wellness. Ouch! What do you think of when you think of dental procedures? Well, when you think about it, the teeth and the rest of the body are strongly connected. What happens in one part affects the other. In the Tooth Body Connection with host Dr. Don Ewing, we'll explain more about these concepts as well as discuss the role that your teeth play in your overall health. You'll learn about amalgams and how removing them the wrong way can be toxic to your body. Tune in Fridays at 2 p.m. Eastern, 11 a.m. Pacific on Voice America Health and Wellness. The largest syndicated alternative health talk program has come to the Voice America Network. The Dr. Bob Martin Show is the program that will answer your health questions and help you to heal your own body of many different ailments. Each week, you'll hear the answers that Dr. Bob gives to his callers that help them to be their own doctor most of the time. We'll also discuss developments on the health care front and what you need to do to keep your body in top form. The Dr. Bob Martin Show airs Wednesday mornings at 9 a.m. Eastern, 6 a.m. Pacific on Voice America Health and Wellness. Your life, your health, your network. You're listening to Voice America Health & Wellness. You are listening to Falling Through the Cracks with your host, Dr. Rebecca Risk. To reach the program today, please call in to 1-866-472-5792. Again, that's 1-866-472-5792. You may also send an email directly to Dr. Risk. The email address is anantacalgary at gmail.com. Now, back to Falling Through the Cracks. Feel alive and thrive. Hi, everybody. Welcome to the show. I'm Dr. Rebecca Risk, and I'm here with Jean Gallick. We're talking about electromagnetic frequency toxicity today. Um, so, Jean, I just want to talk about um, what, um, I, I guess, I, I've been using your products for several years, and um, my acupuncturist actually uses this uh, German technique called a vascular autonomic signal. And what it does is it tests the vascular constriction of all arteries in the body simultaneously. Um, and it's caused by oh. a stress response from the sympathetic yeah. nervous system. Have you heard of that? No, I haven't, but it sounds okay. Like yeah, what she does is she scans a certain point on the head and she re- receives a reading from the reticular formation of the, the midbrain. And if the, mm-hmm. vo- the pulse vasoconstricts, it means that there, there is oscillation. And that's the instability of the brain waves in the reticular formation, which means oh. that you're not, yeah, and that means you're not grounded, as I'm sure you know. Yeah. yeah, and so if the pulse doesn't constrict, then you are grounded. And since I've been using your products for the last two years, and I've seen her for about four, um, I've been consistently grounded every time I see her, oh, with, how- no matter what's going on in my life. Oh. So, yeah, so I find that that's really interesting. I mean, it, it made... Um, you know, a a definite difference for me. And I just want to talk about um, why you think that grounding is so important for us. Well, um, yes. Um, It, it, uh, just one, one, one thought before that, which is, uh, it's always interesting to have a very, an objective measurement of, uh, of of the effect of, of the Earthcom products or the effect, or just, because we don't directly experience uh, man-made uh, electromagnetic fields, and mm-hmm. so um, that's that's interesting that 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 it's measured by. Uh, it almost sounds to me like, a, well, a, a resonant chamber in our brains uh, mm-hmm. that uh, is in resonance with the Earth, and this is the key idea to grounding. I mean, we have a two different grounding is kind of a lot of different things. That word. Because uh, it's an electro, it's a, a, a term of electricity, of course, which simply means that there is a rod dug, dug into the earth, and you are connected to that rod, and that has to do with uh, negative ions and um, uh, on the earth, and also on your body, and that's a, a good thing for sure. Uh, however, um, I'm using uh, the word grounding uh, differently, and uh, this has to do with. Uh, something called, well, it's the Earth's electromagnetic field that is really the, the concept here. And the Earth, it's called the Schumann resonance. And what, what happens is that there's a resonant cavity, uh, well, between the 
surface of the Earth and the ionosphere. And the ionosphere is this, uh, this uh, kind of a, a sphere two or three miles up that is protecting the Earth from the sun, from the sun's plasma. And so it's within this cavity. Like, if you can imagine the Earth is a sphere, and then there's another sphere around the Earth, and then in that, between those two spheres is a cavity. And uh, it's, uh, and the way it is energized is the, the, there's always a balance going on between the ionosphere and the crust of the Earth. And that balance is uh, brought into balance constantly by lightning strikes. That's how we balance the Earth's electromagnetic field. So at any moment in time, maybe 2,000 places around the world, there's lightning. And that creates a field that meets itself on the other side of the sphere. You know, if you can imagine that. And you have a, it's called a standing field. And this is the field of the Earth, in, of the Earth, and the way it. One of the great, interesting aspects of electromagnetic field is that they carry information. They can they hold information, they absorb it, they carry it, and then they give it forth. And that's like radio waves carry information. Radio, the telephone that we're talking on, the electromagnetic field, and uh, uh, absorb the information from me and take it to you and from you all over the, the world, really. So, okay. But this is a characteristic of electromagnetic fields. And what the electromagnetic field of the Earth does is it carries all the information of everything on the crust of the Earth, uh, and it modulates its, it into the electromagnetic field. That's what's called modulation. It transfers its energy into the, Earth, the uh, Earth's electromagnetic field. So... It carries all that information, all the information from all the plants and the minerals, from all the thoughts, from all the emotions of people, from the animals, all that, uh, and plus all the synchronizations of the moon and the stars come in through it, their impact on the ionosphere. So from two end, from both sides of it, information enters into this field. I personally like to think of it as Gaia. I think it will be a, or, uh, that would be a good name for it, but it's called the human resonance by the man who first uh, understood its electromagnetic features. And uh, so this field contains all this information about everything, the universe, on mm-hmm. some level. And our bodies are designed and have evolved to receive this information, to live in harmony with it, to be impacted by it. So... They have it, so it's, um, it's called the Schumann Resonance. And just to give you a, an example of how powerful this is, when the uh, astronauts were going outside of the Schumann Resonance, well, one man did an experiment, and he put these people into a cave that uh, blocked out all radiation. And they went into a state after a few weeks of extreme deprivation, emotional deprivation, and irritable, and... And they found that when they generated the Schumann resonance, which is about 7.8 hertz times, it vibrates that uh, 7.8 times a second. When they restored that vibration, people started to feel better and they started to, you know, feel like normal. And so when they do the um, uh, astronauts go out into space, they have to have a Schumann resonance generator in the little capsules to keep them same. So, um, so obviously that it affects us a lot when when we're interrupting it. That, that's right. It, it, when we're blocked from it, we lose a basic sense of well-being, which mm-hmm. is a sense of being cradled by the earth or being one with the earth or being in connection with the earth. And also the 7.8 is the uh, brainwave frequency of, uh, of peace. And so... It's also like a waveguide to be in a state of, of uh, happiness, you might say, or peace. So it's a very interesting, and you're right, the man-made radiation, when you're inside your house or, uh, you know, all of it, the microwave radiation now from all the cell phone towers, it separates us from that. 
because our bodies, we chose a very similar frequency to run our electricity on. It's very close to the body's electricity. It's called extremely low frequency radiation. And uh, we run on 7.86, anywhere between 1 and 100 times per second is the uh, Earth's frequencies. And we run our electricity on 60 hertz. So our electricity runs on 60 times a second. It vibrates back and forth. And what that does is it, it resonates with our body, body's electricity. And energy is actually transferred from the electricity into your body's nervous system and creates the stress. Okay. And so that's why we need to be grounded So, because it, it, it must stay in our body if we're not grounded. Is that how that's happening? That's exactly right. Now, what, what okay. happens here is that there's two ways to deal with this threat or this stress-producing aspect of, of electricity or man-made radiation. And one of them is to create a, a shield or a barrier. Now, this would be the person who says, oh, I won't use a cell phone. I won't use my computer. I'll live yeah. out in a nature environment away from all the power lines. And so there's that uh, attempt. Or you can, I'll build a, you know, a Faraday cage, which is this like a metal container that will stop the radiation and yeah. live in that. And that's, there are many people and many companies that sell products that are based on that principle. But it, it's really a hopeless, it's ho- a hopeless way to go with it because it's, it doesn't, first of all, it doesn't work that well. And second of all, it's, it's a deprivation. I mean, the computer yeah. is one of the greatest gifts to human intelligence, as is the cell phone, the smartphone. So these are things that children absolutely need to, to uh, live in the world today. So uh, the EarthCom products all work by grounding a person to the Earth's electromagnetic field. So that field will absorb all the hazards at the speed of light, you know, as you're using your item, your device, so that you're, uh, by being grounded in the Earth's electromagnetic field, there's no um, hazardous uh, electricity in your body that you protect yourself. You're resonating now to the Earth rather than to the uh, your home wiring or your cell phone. Which makes more sense because how you explain the human residence, that's what we're supposed to be doing. And that's so, that, right. that, yeah. Um, so if we're storing this electricity, when we start using these products that ground us, what, what happens to that? Well, uh, most people, it's, it's kind of interesting because uh, some people will immediately feel a sense of well-being when they uh, like plug in a home system or put on one of the one of the uh, pendants or the bracelet. And um, what they'll feel, a person with a normally operating immune system w- or will feel um, a, a, first maybe a slight sense of dizziness and then a sense of well-being. And it can be an ecstatic sense of well-being or just a, a sense of feeling at peace. And... But there are some people when they uh, put the home system in or they will feel anxiety or they'll feel nothing at all. And those people, their immune system has collapsed. And it's kind of like the way I was when I first started this whole pro- process. Um, they, uh, your immune system has collapsed and you're just sick all the time. You're just tired all the time. You have a headache all the time. And that person, we, uh, the home system itself, we call it the infinity is, is so powerful that um, if you started a person, uh, just put the whole thing in, that person would feel uh, either anxiety or just absolutely nothing at all. But after a while, they'd feel anxious. So we have four steps so that the system can be gradually introduced. And that way, um, you avoid that experience of, of the negative experience of, of the anxiety. Well, I know when um, I have uh, chronic Lyme that's currently in remission, but when I started using your products, um, I had to do an hour at a time with each of the steps on the home system. Uh-huh. Oh, and yeah. uh, Sorry? Yeah, yeah that's interesting. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And, and, you know, I got um, very fatigued with it, and then, you know, I'd get used to it and move on to the next one. 
and I, I had some doubt from a friend and I actually forgot one overnight and the next day I was so fatigued until I unplugged it. And then I was fine with that plug, but it was sort of this, this proof, instead of going for an hour, it was very dramatic, my reaction to it, which obviously meant that there was something going on because all I was doing was plugging something in my house. And, you know, the question mm-hmm. was, how could this affect you so much? But obviously it, it did. Well, that immune system is so difficult to heal when you're always in a stressful situation. It's difficult to heal your immune system. And I guess on some level what I feel is that we all have Lyme disease and cancer mm-hmm. and all these things are all in, in us, but that our immune system functions so that they don't, um, you know, they don't take over <laughs> whatever. Yeah. You have the ability to live in balance and yeah. you have access to the Earth's healing to put it, yeah. you know, truthfully, yeah. really. And it's hard when you live in a big city because if you just click on your Wi-Fi, you're exposed to about 10 of them in your house and, uh, you know, yeah. you have all your yeah. neighbors. And and um, like yeah. you said, you can't live in a, a bubble. There is a, I heard about a town that tries to be completely um, EMF-free where people can go as like a safe haven, but obviously that yeah. that's not realistic because people, as you said, people can't go there and they can't cut themselves off from the world. Well, there's also the mistaken notion that it's just the microwave radiation that's the problem. Although uh, it certainly added to the problem, all the cell phones and all that since, you know, the last 10, 10 years or whatever, but uh, the problem is really the home's electricity. That's the that's the how you you're going to have to go you know, live with uh, gas, light, or something if you really wanted to in, in a Faraday cage. If you really wanted to completely protect yourself from from that, and that's impossible. Yeah, um, I did a a lot of research uh, on EMFs. Obviously, I know. When using your products, I knew that they were an issue, but it's really hard to actually find um, a lot of comprehensive studies. I mean, there are some that say, yes, they're an issue, and some that say no. Um, What are your thoughts on that? Well, one of the things that's uh, interesting about that is science, uh, you know, like what I was talking about before, about the correlations between... uh, introduction of electricity into a home and the increase in all these health issues, the uh, people don't consider that to be scientific proof. And the question the scientist has is, well, what is the mechanism of interaction? So they want to know what is the causality of it? What are the, uh, how does it work? What, what is the problem here? So they, even though you look at all this data that shows uh, all these uh, concerns, but and, I, and But the interesting thing is just recently, a, a, a scientist named Martin Paul, P-A-L-L, if you could Google the study on the Internet, Martin Paul, Ph.D., it's called just voltage-gated calcium is, is actually the title of the study. But what he found is the mechanism of interaction. And uh, what that is... Is, is that uh, it, it really ba- is based on the principle of resonance and um, that, uh, that the uh, calcium ions resonate in, uh, go into resonance with the home electricity and then they behave differently. They, uh, they gather, they, they uh, don't do their normal uh, job anymore and they become over-concentrated in the cell. And the same thing with cal- with potassium and uh, lithium. Many of the ions, which are like negatively charged molecules, uh, are actually their behavior in the body is changed by being in an electromagnetic environment. And so he uh, was able to uh, prove that and show uh, how that changes our biology of our bodies and puts us under constant stress. Hmm. Yeah, that definitely um, makes make sense with the, the calcium, and all that. I'll, I'll have a look at that article. We're going to take a, a quick break, and uh, we'll be back talking uh, to Gene Gallick, the inventor of the EarthCom products. Um, if you have any questions about this show, feel free to send us an email at anantacalgary at gmail.com, or um, you can send us a message on Facebook or Twitter. We'd love to hear from you. We'll be back in a minute.
Opinions, options, answers. You're listening to Voice America Health and Wellness. We are bombarded daily with information about beauty products and anti aging treatments. Do you know how they have been tested? Are they truly going to make a change or just take the change out of your pocket? Tune in to Shelly's Show and Tell with host Shelly Hancock. We'll bring you the top rated skincare products and treatments tested by Real Transformation Skin Care Centers. We'll motivate you to make the best changes. Listen Mondays at 1 p.m. Pacific Time, 4 p.m. Eastern on Voice America Health and Wellness. In the spirit of Have Couch Will Travel, Dr. Carol Lieberman creates a haven of sanity in an increasingly insane world. Each day we are bombarded with news of events that have never crossed our wildest nightmares. Society is spiraling out of control and everyone is reeling from it. But now there's an answer. The best way to keep sane in this insane world is to tune in to Dr. Carol's Couch on Voice America. Dr. Carol, a certified media psychiatrist, will broadcast live from her Beverly Hills office every Tuesday at 1 p.m. Pacific Time. Call or log in and get help with whatever is sending you reeling whenever you need a soothing voice to calm and advise you. That's Dr. Carol's Couch every Tuesday at 1 p.m. Pacific Time here on America's Voice, voiceamerica.com. Opinions, options, answers. You're listening to Voice America Health & Wellness. You are listening to Falling Through the Cracks with your host, Dr. Rebecca Risk. To reach the program today, please call in to 1-866-472-5792. Again, that's 1-866-472-5792. You may also send an email directly to Dr. Risk. The email address is anantacalgary at gmail.com. Now, back to Falling Through the Cracks. Feel alive and thrive. Hi, everybody. Welcome to Falling Through the Cracks. I'm Dr. Rebecca Risk, and I'm here with Jean Gallick, the um, inventor of EarthCom products. So, Jean, we talked about uh, briefly about how you got involved in EMFs. How did you start your company? How did that progress? Well, I, um, I, I actually made a copper bracelet that had incorporated into it the Lakowski oscillating circuit, plus some other uh, things I came up with. And uh, it all, this all happened just as people were starting to uh, go to those uh, whole life expos in California and, and also Las Vegas. And so actually the first one I went to was in Las Vegas. And um, I, uh, I made about 50 of these bracelets and we just started selling them at the uh, whole life expos. And uh, the thing that just amazed me was the reactions that people had when they would put the bracelet on especially people who had chronic headaches. It's uh, almost a miracle for that, for people with headaches. The whole, uh, the, uh, they put the bracelet on and their headaches would go away, and it was just uh, quite, a, quite, a, quite a thing to see. And people yeah. who had asthma, they would put a bracelet on and they'd feel this warmth in their upper chest because that's where they were experiencing stress, was in the constriction of, of their ability to breathe, you know. So, and that constriction was partly, I mean, many causes on all of these things, but certainly a major factor was uh, the uh, stress of electromagnetic field. So they'd feel this warmth in their chest, and then they would notice that they could breathe better. So that, um, it was uh, quite an experience when I would go to these fairs because I almost always sold out, and people just loved the product, and it was just such an affirmation of of what I was doing. Yeah, for sure. So um, what step did you take from there, um, starting your company? What was the next well, step? Well, of course, uh, the Internet has made uh, it possible for someone to even put out this type of information. And uh, so as soon as the Internet started to function, I was able to, uh, you know, start start creating a, a company that had a broader scope. and. Mm-hmm. I found some uh, some people to help me, and yeah, it it's just pretty much gone on and on from there. Um, so you have several products. What is the first one that you recommend that people start with? Well, that would be the home system because um, you know, like I was saying, when you sleep is when your body heals, and that is uh, and you're also when you meditate. I mean, part of the uh, Earth's electromagnetic field is that it it really does um, 
kind of resonate, you might say it, it helps the person achieve their highest potential. So um, if you do meditate or if you, uh, uh, that, that it's important to have um, a stress-free environment and to be in resonance with the, with the earth itself. Okay, but, uh, so, so we, actually, we actually have a, a caller on hold with a question, um, okay. so we'll, we'll take that question. Uh, yeah. Jim, Jim, are you there? Yes, I am, uh-huh. And so what's your question? Yes, I was wondering how you feel about grounding, earthing, how that all uh-huh. happens. Oh, the earthing. Here. Yeah, well, I think that's actually the, uh, the actual electrical concept of of, of electricity, of being grounded in the earth as being in contact with the negative ions of the earth. And I think that is a, a beneficial thing, for sure. And there's a, they do have research on, on that, and it, it does help. But it is nowhere near as powerful as the EarthCom uh, mm-hmm. electromagnetic, the grounding of the uh, infinity, what that will do in your home for your resonating you're going into resonance, a deeper resonance with the Earth's electromagnetic field. So it's a different concept mm-hmm. of, of the Earth. It's not just the magnetic field of the Earth, but it's the electromagnetic field of the Earth, which is basically the Schumann resonance. Sure. All I know is three years ago I became a barefooter, and I just... Yeah. There are a whole lot of, a whole lot of benefits about that. That's just one of them is the grounding there. Right. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I think yeah. That, that that's probably a, a good thing to incorporate as well, going barefoot, and because and, that's when when you're, you know, connected with the earth. Oh, um, absolutely. And, yeah, yeah. Well, thanks for your question, Jim. That was great to hear about other um, other products as well. Okay. Uh, yeah. no, it's, hard to, it's hard to push that. I mean, I'm, yeah. I'm not, yeah. not, not put, putting down your products, but no, it, it's, hard, it's hard to... It's hard to get the word out there because nobody can make money off of it. It's you know, people going barefoot, but the benefits are tremendous of it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, no one's going to talk about that. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it's kind of hard to market, but uh, yeah, I would highly recommend yeah. it. I mean, it. Uh, yeah. The the, yeah. the grounding the grounding uh, the grounding benefits and they just all just Google the health benefits of that. I think people find tremendous benefits in that. Oh yeah, for yeah, sure. True. Yeah, yeah. Thank you, Jim. Um, so, so Jean, I just, I want to go back. Um, I, I mean, I think that that's great, um, with, um, you know, the, uh, you know, the grounding and the barefoot, like Jim had said, um, Mm -hmm. is, um, you know, important, but I always tell people when they ask me about those, when I point out if they have a family of four or five and they're trying to get these grounding sheets for everybody, your products also are just one for the house. That's right. It's really yeah. uh, covers the entire house. That's right. Yeah, and yeah. then they realize, you know, it's also easier to travel with because I've had people try to travel with their grounding sheets and, you know, when you have a right. large family. And then your little product just, you know, is just this tiny thing yeah. that you take out and plug in in your hotel room. That's right. It's very convenient to take it with you when you travel. Exactly. Yeah. So after somebody gets um, uh, used to the home system, what is their next step with your products? Well, um, the home system, the, the next step would be for personal protection because, you know, so much of the time you're outside. And uh, we have a, actually we have a, a, a new technology. It's probably a product you haven't heard of. It's called the Sanctuary Bracelet. And the Sanctuary Bracelet contains all the EarthCom antenna, which are the circuits that, that I've developed over the years. And, um, you know, these, this has been, uh, these circuits have been developed over over 30 years of, of constant uh, trying to make the product stronger and stronger and stronger. And um, so how, is, how is the, the bracelet um, different from the necklace that you've had? Well, it has the circuits in it, the full first com circuits. And it also has um, a kind of a, uh, of, a, of a transformer technology that we've developed, which we call Sanctuary. And a transformer is like a, a spiral, an elect, a spiral in which electric, electricity goes through the spiral. And when that happens, it changes the voltage, how much energy can be held uh, or the, in, in that um, 
by that uh, wiring. And so uh, we are utilizing that principle in the bracelet, which makes the, uh, a, a, well, it, it's designed to create a transformer uh, around your body in a way that gives you that an added uh, uh, um, ability to resonate to a higher frequency. And that shifts you out of that trap or being caught up by, by the uh, home electricity. Okay. Um, so I, I have a home system and a necklace, and I actually didn't wear my necklace for a while. I thought, oh, I have a home system, and I was going to this acupuncturist who was telling me I was grounded every time, and I thought, I don't yeah. have to worry about it. And then it was probably about six months later I put the necklace on again, and like you said, some people experience a bit of dizziness, and I had a bit of dizziness for about half an hour putting it back on. Uh-huh. after not wearing it so so they they must um be systems that you need to have to work together um they or do. i wouldn't have had that reaction because i was at home when i put That's it on right. as well and then you felt better didn't you, you yeah had yeah increased well-being yeah well it they work they definitely do it the, the wearing the bracelet or the necklace does enhance the the, the ability of the home system it's like a synergy that makes it stronger than either one by itself because there, there's an enhancement there. But, the, uh, but it also enables you when you're going out in life and you're out and about, it, it protects you so that you're not so vulnerable to the, all the uh, radiation out there. Yeah, exactly. So you have um, products for cell phones as well. I mean, you said so you think cell phones yeah. are, are yeah. pretty dangerous. So what do you recommend there for people? Well, uh, we have something called the Taurus. And, but, this, but, but I do want to say one thing about the home system. Is when you install the home system, you're actually modulating those circuits into the electromagnetic field in your home. And anybody in the home is going to resonate to that, and it's going to, like I say, protect each person in the home, no matter where, they, where their bedroom is or anything. It's, it doesn't radiate out from a particular source. The whole home, home's electromagnetic field, uh, has those circuits, that information modulated into its field. But, um, like, let's say you have a smart meter that is working off your home electricity. It will actually... Those, uh, the module, the earth comb circuits will actually go and protect you from the home meter, from the smart meter as well. Uh, or okay. let's say you have a wire, let's say you have a wireless router that, um, is, uh, radiating out this microwave field into your home so that people can get on the internet. You, you, you know, you can get on the internet with your laptops or, or your, whatever you have, the tablets. So uh, that Internet field, that microwave field of radiation is also, um, you're also protected from that. So, and it also helps with your cordless phone. Now, when you're using the phone, uh, then uh, it, it, uh, that's a different thing. But when the phone is being charged, it's also uh, that field of microwave radiation that's generated by your, your cordless phone. You're also protected from that. But now let's look at, okay, then you have, um, or, or let me just say, make one more point, or your laptop when it's plugged in, or your cell phone when it's being charged, or your desktop computer with the big tower, mm-hmm. all of that, because they're plugged into the electricity, they are actually also, those EarthCom circuits are there in those systems and protecting you from those fields. So uh, that's it's really a, a fairly very effective in, the, in that way. But let's say you unplug your laptop and you're off, or you're using your cell phone, or your tablet. If you know you don't have your tablet being charged, then there's another product for those situations, which uh, is is very important, especially if you use your tablet all the time or you're using your cell phone all the time. For the cell phone, we have a a specific product which is designed to go under the case of an iPhone. So it's very thin. But we have um, put a lot of effort into having... Because these circuits are all handmade. They're they're not like a machine-made thing that you just stamp or whatever. It's not etheric. It's not a, a, a mind. Your mind, uh, you know, we thought these things through. And 
uh, it's, this is really mechanical on the world, physical world of physical reality. We have all these handmade circuits, and we've managed to get them in a very thin uh, uh, little um, patch, and we call that the quantum cell, and that will go under your iPhone case and protect you uh, from the cell phone microwave energy generated by that cell phone. Now, uh, we have, and this is a, an amazing thing, but we have actually found that, for instance, if you go to the gym and you take your cell phone and you have it in your pocket, you're able to work out for a longer time on, on your machines than if you left the cell phone in your locker. So the cell phone itself, not only does it not bother you so much or is not such a hazard, it also can actually become a healing device in its own right. Okay. And, um, yeah, we actually have an experimental proof of that, which I, I'd like to just say a few words on. It's very, very interesting. And there's a lab out in Colorado called Quantum Lab, and Glenn Ryan is a researcher, Ph.D., and he uh, did some tests with the EarthCom uh, home system and with the EarthCom uh patch products or the the quantum cell for the iPhone. We also have patch products for the tablet uh, and uh, games or things like that, and that's called the Taurus. But just to briefly describe the experiment that he did, because I feel that objective scientific research is very important to for people to have that so that they know these, yeah. these uh, items have been tested. And yeah. so what this test consisted of is one of the ways you can measure the stress of electromagnetic fields is by what it does to human DNA. And what they found is that when you subject human DNA to, like, household electricity for EMF, the conductivity of the DNA is reduced. And um, DNA, when, when the conductivity goes down, the DNA doesn't function as well. It doesn't repair itself as well as uh, when it's highly conductive. So that conductivity is an essential part of of our ability to, you know, our optimal functioning. So in any case, this, in the study, they took a, a glass of human DNA and they uh, and they subjected it to uh, outside the home and inside a home's electrical system and. What they found is, yes, the conductivity went down <clears throat> when the uh, DNA was in the home and uh, compared to what it was outside the home. And so, then they so, the- sorry, Jean, um, we are going to have to um, end the show. This is really fascinating, though. I think we could talk about um, all of this oh. for, for okay. all day. Okay. Um, okay. Is okay. there any way that uh, people can get a hold of you or your products if they're um, interested? Oh, this, this experiments are all on the Internet. It's called EarthCalm, C-A-L-M, Earth, C-A-L-M, dot C-O-M. And, okay. Uh, we, those experiments are in detail uh, and uh, all the different products and all a lot of explanation describing how they work. Okay. That's, that's great. Thank you for joining us today. Today we talked with Jean Gallick from EarthCom about electromagnetic frequencies and the toxicity that they have on us. Um, if you are, uh, have any questions about this show or any other show, please feel free to uh, send us an email or on Facebook and Twitter. Um, thank you so much for joining us today. Make today a great day. Thank you for tuning in to this week's edition of Falling Through the Cracks. Feel alive and thrive. Please join Dr. Rebecca Risk again next Monday at noon Eastern Time and 9 a.m. Pacific Time on the Voice America Health and Wellness Channel. We'll talk more next week.